welcome to the Java tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial where we will learn the basics of Java. And we're going to be using Eclipse, or at least I'm going to be using Eclipse. You can use whatever you like. You can type your Java code with a text editor and use uh, Java C, the Java compiler, and Java, the command line Java program to run your Java programs, which is which is fine. Actually, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that, just in case you want to. But from this tutorial on, I'm going to be using Eclipse. So if you would like to download Eclipse, I'll show you where to get it. Just open up a web browser, and then you can go to eclipse.org. And here we go. You can download it for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. I'm using Linux, so, but it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you like. Let's see, downloads. Yep, so you just go to download now, Eclipse SDK. Uh, it's showing Linux for me because I'm on Linux, but whatever you're using, it'll probably show the right thing. So, pretty cool, huh? All right. Let's just get rid of this, Let's minimize that. Let's go to Eclipse. Let's get to the good stuff. So like any programming tutorial, we're first going to show you Hello World. So you just right click here, go to New, Project. Everything in Eclipse is a project. Just I, I guess it helps you, or I guess it helps uh, organize code and separates things, but it's not really needed in terms of Java, but it's kind of an Eclipse thing. So don't get that confused with learning Java. It's just it's just Eclipse. But uh, we're going to do Hello World as the project name, and make sure you have at least Java 1.5. If you have Java 1.4 installed, then there are some pretty nice things in Java 1.5 that you're not going to be able to use that I am going to be showing you how to use in this tutorial. Not this tutorial, but later tutorials. So make sure you have Java 1.5. All right, and let's go to finish. And here we are, hello world. Let's create the file, the hello world file. And it's going to be a class file because Java is an object-oriented programming language. I'll explain a little more about that later. But for right now, just, just trust me on that. For name, type in hello world. And it's yelling at us about using the default package. Now, usually you don't want to use the default package if you create more advanced programs where you actually want to use the program and keep track of stuff. Then you'll probably want to use some other package um, we can, I'll describe more about that later, but for right now, we're just creating Hello World, doesn't matter. So we're going to use the default package. And you're going to want to make sure that you have the public static void main method in there. It's good stuff. Basically, the main method is the first method that's run when you run a Java program. So we're going to go to finish, and it's going to auto-generate all that code. Now, auto-generating code is kind of a risky thing because sometimes you'll be tempted to not understand what the code is doing. But we're going to, I'm going to explain to you everything that this code is doing in future tutorials. Right now, we're not going to talk about what public class, public static void, string args means. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. For right now, just look at this. Look at the file that it generated. We got hello world here, so that's our class. Um, and right in between here, in between these curly brackets, is our program. Now, in between these, right here, is a comment. That means that anything in between them is ignored. So I can type anything here, and it's ignored. If you want to create a new comment, this is called a block comment, by the way. You just put stuff in between a forward slash and an asterisk, and then an asterisk and a forward slash. And that will be a block comment. 
All right, I'm going to delete that because we don't need it. I'm also going to delete this because we don't need it. So to create hello world, you just go system dot out dot print line, and then put hello world in double quotes here, and then end the line with a semicolon. Statements in Java are, are ended with a semicolon, kind of like in C or C++. And system.out.println is what's actually going to print hello world. In other languages, it might be C out or print or echo or stuff like that. But in Java, because everything is nice and concise in Java, <laughs> it's going to be system.out.println. Java loves really long names, so if you want to get really well known in the Java community and you want to be you know, like a Java master, make sure all of your names are really long. They stretch like the whole screen. It's great. It's awesome. If you write function names that are too short, then people will think that you're C or Perl programmers. So. You won't want to do that. You want to make really long names. Actually, that's one criticism of Java, that a lot of names of things are really long. But that's OK. Anyway, <laughs> so that's all you need. Now you just save the file. And then we want to run the file as a Java application. Boom, hello world. It's awesome, right there. So there we are, hello world. That is the end of the Hello World program. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in a text editor, if you want to be using a text editor for the rest of these tutorials. You just open up your favorite text editor in Linux. You can open up KWrite, or if you're more adventurous, you can use Emacs or Vim. Um, I would only do that if you are good at that sort of stuff. I like Emacs, but that's just me being weird. All right, so you just save it as hello world dot Java. You have to save files as dot Java files. Save. Ooh, look at that. Highlighted it. It's pretty good stuff. Okay, and then you open up a shell right there. Let's see. We cd to the. We go to the Java folder. And we see there's hello world.java. Now, to compile it, we do Java C and then hello world.java. Boom. It created a hello world.class file. Now, in order to run it, you just go Java hello world. You don't put dot class on there. I was really confused by that at first, but yeah, you don't do that. So, make sure you remember not to do that. Java hello world and it print out hello world. There we go. All right, that's the end of the Hello World tutorial for Java. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about something else pretty cool, probably about variables and data types. So there we go.